guys, it's Splork here, and today we're going to do um, a review, and um, it's kind of a comparison too. So, we have the Godly Paladin's Hammer and the Godly Possessed Hatchet. Godly Paladin's Hammer drops from, it's a rare drop from Paladins in the Hardmore Dungeon to get the Hardmore Dungeon after defeat Plantera. Now, the, now the Godly Possessed Hatchet drops from Golem. Um, it's a pretty weird drop, but drops from Go Golem, and uh, fight Golem. You must defeat Plantera, get the Temple Key, and unlock the uh, the Temple Door. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna go. Um, I guess try try him out. It's about night time. So here here's a bunny. Like uh, oh, but I forgot to tear the stats. The Godly Paladin's Hammer does. 161 melee damage, 26 critical strike chance, very fast speed, insane knockback, a powerful returning hammer. And the godly possessed hat hatchet does 161 melee damage, 26 critical strike chance, very fast speed, extremely strong knockback, chases after your enemy. So, um, this has, um, extremely strong knockback and chases after your enemy. So, I mean... They both have the same speed, but look at that, and then look look at this. I mean, this has I think like more like range. Yeah, it, ha it has like a lot more range, but that but but they both have the same speed. So we're well, like the same speed, but this has like less range, so it, it appears to be faster. So they both do the most damage, like the same damage. They both have same critical strike chance. And they both have like the same speed, and this has uh, extremely strong knockback, and it chases after your enemies. So really, there's nothing really, and, and they both do the same damage and critical strike chance. I I critical strike like 400 with both of these, like they are the same basically. So whatever you critical strike on this, you can critical strike on that. But anyway, I don't know, like, this has less range, so you can, like, attack more stuff faster, but this has more knockback. It's a bit like it goes farther, and it chases after your enemy. So, I don't really know which one is better. Like, this has more knockback and chases after your enemy, but this has, um, it's, it's, like, shorter range, so you can hit more things faster. So that's really all you can really do with this review. Um, I could spawn a boss, but uh, well, actually I could. I s get, uh, I'm gonna see if I can spawn the destroyer. Let me get the spawner. Wait, I know it's warm food. Here, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna get get out of my house because it's kind of gla glary for you guys. That's why I don't really um do uh, it like do reviews and stuff in, in my house so I'm probably not gonna save so I don't really care if the NPCs die. Right now we're gonna go make our way to the battle you know uh, uh, you know what forget this that's just that's just too clear right there so Uh, okay. Come on, spawn. This pet really makes it glary, so I'm gonna cancel this pet. Come on, spawn. Try to, okay. Come on. Apparently, it's not night. Oh, uh, there we go. So I'm gonna hit it a couple of times. Very good, and it goes through, and, and you can do it like really fast, and then. This does not go through, but if you get up close, like, I mean, it's like this. If you want something that goes through in enemies that fires faster, then the Paladin's Hammer is for you. But if you want something that just chases after your enemy, and like, you know, and it can crit critical good, you can use the Possessed Hatcher. But I personally think the Paladin's Hammer is better. That's just my opinion, though. Thank you for watching, like, rate, and subscribe.